Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to generate insights to optimize and automate your process using Process Advisor. Process Advisor records and analyzes your manual business tasks. It discovers inefficiencies and provides optimization and automation opportunities. Process Advisor automatically produces a process map that visualizes the process. Using this information and the powerful features in the Process Advisor, you can drive improvement to make a difference for business. There are two parts I will be sharing. One, import an existing solution that includes Process Advisor recordings, which we can enhance the lab experience. Number two, we will create your own recording. Alright, so number one, import an existing solution. If I log into the web portal and I go to solutions, I can choose to import an existing solution. If you see this error, it's fine. If you refresh, it will take some time to load and the test solution will be uploaded successfully. Alright, okay. Over here, I did not have any flows, only one flow, and there are not much of things. But I have an existing solution here where we have six desktop flows and we have a re recording. We have a few recordings where it was created by these few users and we have a inferred task. So this task is basically coming from this process advisor. If I take a look here, over here, I have an existing process advisor and all are recorded. Okay, so if I take a look here, if I open one, you see there are various steps over here which we have open Excel invoice list, enter invoice details and save and submit button. Okay, if I navigate back again, if I go to analytics, it will take some time to load. Okay. If this take one is okay, I open one, an existing one. Okay, so as you can see here, um, we have different steps, which is download invoice attachment from email, open as an invoice list, open invoice from OneDrive. So we have different ways of uh, retrieving the invoice attachment, right? And then the next step is we enter the invoice details, which will take about 53.6 seconds, and then we save and submit. And then if there's any variance, we notify the team for, uh, for submission. All right. And then if you take a look here, right, this process map, it makes possible to visualize and analyze process by looking at the graphical representation of how your business process are performed. So um, over here, if you take a closer look on the right side here, you can look at the variance by frequency bars on the right. Okay. If you Take a look here, enter an invoice, the average time is about 54, right? 54 seconds. And downloading attachment will take about 48 seconds and etc. Okay, then if you take a look at the bottom here, recording by time in minute. If you see Preston Morris and Shakti is the one that having the most time consuming to, to process a, re, a invoice report, right? Okay, so if you go to this application section here you can see details on which application were used it might take a while to load a report sometimes so over here you can take a look at um there are different type of applications that involve in this process so um for example the dashboard shows that a legacy Invoicing app, Outlook, and Excel have significant contribution to time spent and actions by applications. Okay, 
So now let's create your own recording. To create your own recording, if you go to Process Advisor, go to Process, and click on New Process and give a name, Invoice Submission Process 2. Okay, I want to create a new recording. I click Create. Add a recording. And then it will prompt to open Power Automate Desktop. Click Open. Okay, you will the a recorder panel will be open uh will be will be displayed. So from here, right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open my legacy invoicing app. I just want to make a short recording here where I will record each step. So first, as how I do as uh, manually, I will record here. Firstly, I will click on this invoice tab. After that, I will click on new record. Then, I enter the account. To the amount. And then I select pay. Okay. And then after that, I click save. Okay. And then once done, you click finish. Okay. And then this panel will be open. And then click got it. Now you click on view recording, it will take some time to load. Okay, so over here, um, you are not able to save if you have not create a label. So you need to identify that um, at a certain step, what is the process doing? Okay, so from here, you add an activity here. Enter an invoice. Okay, and then from here I will put select this invoice until over here where I want to save the invoice. So I add another activity, I put save and submit. Okay, and then I can drag and drop this portion. If in case if you are you would like to move this to somewhere else, over here also can. So for in this case, I'm just going to make it simple where I only perform the, the entering of the invoice and then after that, I submit. Okay, then from here, after you finish, click Save. Okay, now you can close. Afterwards, if you navigate to here, the first thing, the next step, what you need to do is take note of the status. It says not analyzed, right? So you have to click Analyze. And click confirm. Alright, so once analyzed, you'll be able to see this analytics option. If you click on analytics, Alright, so if you can see here, the start point, I enter an invoice which took about 37 seconds and then I save and submit, we took about 0 seconds. And as you can see here, we can have a variance by frequency and also the average time in seconds. So this thing will increase 
as more user creates their own recording. If you navigate to the applications tab, same thing, you'll be able to see how many applications used for this process. So you can see here, we have one app use and the estimated time span and also how many actions. All right, this completes the process advisor lab. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.